I hate explanations about poems, but this this needs one just for the funny side of it. So I read this at a meeting called Evolving Minds in uh, Hebden, like the second day I'd been in this area. And I met a psychiatrist who wanted to do some walling, dry stone walling as therapy. So he came up with me on the, that day, the second day, and then uh, he said, oh, I have this meeting once a month in Hebden. People come along and they talk about their lives and maybe read a poem. We had a clown last week. So overnight I wrote this poem um, because the meeting was about, it was called The Wounded Healer. And I thought, oh, this is good. This is where I'm at. The, the, my reckoning is you can't be a healer unless you have been wounded. So what I subsequently discovered, the meeting was for people who worked in the NHS as healers, but were wounded. <laughs> so they weren't, it wasn't how I saw it, the definition as you need to be wounded to be a healer. This was like, this is what healing does to you. It wounds you. Anyway, so I read the poem out in front of about 100 people. <laughs> anyway, it's called The Wounded Waller. A steep fell at Hartsop in Cumberland, where my heart was, the only golden eagle in England swooping and diving on the still morning air. Clearly heard a farmer's muttered curse far down below. Damn you, dog! Damn you, dog! Come by, come by! Clunk, another stone on the wall. Clunk, and another. Progress progressing up the Lakeland Hill, yard by bloody yard. Above us raggedy arsed wallers, Late snow melting, exposing the poor dead sheep, their dreadful fate. Hey up, look out, too late. The stones above us tumbling down, rushing we call it. Then one misjudged -jud jump sideways and I'm off. The human snowboard, my wet waterproofs, hitting Gore-Tex, Gore glissading wildly on soaking moss. Still, I can hear one of the lads say, Uh-oh, this is going to be bad. That's how they talk up there. Now, I'm aware, there will be boulders and small crags. This is it, boys. It's my time. On my back. Then silence. I've got some air. Then whoop, hit the deck. Help, I'm going to die. Yet. Yeah nothing really on my mind. No speedy life review. Just this moment. Sss, silence. Wump. And before I know it, reach the bottom of the gnarly mountain. Broken hand, twisted knee, ricked back, wounded wall of pride. But hey, I'm still alive. Yeehaw. Now, reality bites. Busted up. Can't work, can't pay the rent, licking wounds in a tent, overgrown, me overgrown meadow near the west coast line. Walling is therapy, we used to say, on limestone pavemented Ingleborough. Aye, therapy for a hangover from the night before, country pubs and crack. And then six long months surviving in a tent, bloody walling, bloody walling. Yet, yeah, living outside and meditation, bit by bit by bit, a protracted roar of awakening one sunny day. December it was, December it was. A phone call, a train, a lane, a walk, led to a craggy vale near to Mythamroyd, close to that so Hebden Bridge where the streets are paved with therapists, they say, and borderline alcoholics with 
commitment issues, inflated IDs and kids. Blimey, I thought, walling us therapy. We could all do a trade. And so we did. So I'm walling with a psychotherapist with lots of troubled clients. Uh, and he learns walling and I'm learning mines on a farm, up a hill, laughter and children in the trees with my shiny, shiny friends and grunty, rambunctious pigs. And maybe, just maybe, in that so Hebden Bridge, I could find a wounded healer meeting and openly declaim, still wounded, but healing.